This is a success story about teamwork, compression therapy, a dedicated lymphedema therapist, and a patient who was not going to settle for a diagnosis of amputation. Crushed by heavy equipment on the job over 15 years ago, he was told there was no hope and no answers. That is, until he met Kristen Law. She was very pleasant and very polite. And she even seen my legs and she said, wow, you know, uh, this is going to be a challenge for me. She said, but um, we're going to work this and we, we're going to make it happen. I had never seen anything like that. I was amazed that no one had ever referred him for any treatment in all of those years. Um, the fact that this man had been told that there was no hope for so long and that nothing could be done for him. He wasn't a candidate and pretty much just his life was poor. Just all around, I can't really even, you know, he, he fully admitted that, you know, he was depressed. He wasn't doing things like he used to do. Self-esteem was blown. You know, he, he was giving up, told me about amputation. They said there's nothing else they can do. I, I don't know what to do, brother. I don't, I don't know what to do. Fifteen years, mm -hmm. and he was told his future was inevitably going to be amputations. Right. You were having none of that. No. I like to use anything that's available to me. Um, obviously, I'm using my standard, you know, foam bandages. I'm doing my manual massage. Um, I definitely use compression pumps in the clinic and also for home use. Um, it, it just really helps me to kind of affect the change in the tissues a bit better to help kind of bring a leg like that down to the point where I can kind of mold it a little bit better with my massage and just make my bandages even more effective so that I can help to shape that limb a little bit better and get where I need to be. For Derek's therapy to be effective, it couldn't just happen in the clinic, but also at home. If you do it religiously, at least three to four times a day, you will see progress. So I said, okay, all right. You know, like I said, I gave up. I, I didn't care how they brought up. So many people tell me this. I started using the pumps three, four times a day. This is what Derek's lower extremities looked like. And these are the shoes he had to have specially made to accommodate what was really a round foot and ankle. All the Peter shoes were ugly, and we talked about them. <laughs> they, they were supposed to work for them, but they were like, they were like thick iron balls. He was walking around, and we used to call it a Frankenstein. Six months. Within six months, I started seeing results. My legs started going down. Uh, the ulcers, because I had very large ulcers in my legs. The ulcers start slowly getting smaller, you know, and back up, it was a miracle. It's, it's a miracle. When I first was seeing Chris, he made him this big. And now you can see how small he is now. And for the last 20 years, we would go to Wildwood. We would take our kids and grandkids. And every time I would go, I couldn't enjoy myself because I was always in special shoes and I had a lot of swelling in my legs. So I couldn't do nothing, you know. And the whole weekend was spent with him in the room or on the balcony, you know. And we would always say, try, try. He, I can't do it. I can't do it. In August of 2015, after all his procedures and all the blessings and all the scientific work that he had done for him, he left me on the way to the boardwalk. I was two blocks behind him. I walked from the hotel up to the boardwalk, got on the boardwalk, fell down on my hands and knees and just put my hands in the air and said, wow, I don't believe I'm on this boardwalk like this. No words to express how much it meant to him to get be able to be able to do what he is doing today. The whole boardwalk, even my family, my friends, they, they start crying, you know. They, they were so overwhelmed and so driven. They start crying because they know what I went through all my life, the struggle I went through. He definitely bought into the whole plan, and it wasn't just us saying like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. You know, you're, you're giving the background to it, you're giving the why about, you know, how often you should do it, you know, why do you need to, you know, elevate at the same time, like giving that understanding and that education, um, and then him seeing the results, I think really helped to kind of just, yeah, form that team and that partnership and, you know, it has lasted through this time and we all 
stay on top of each other, and we do. We have his back, and we probably will for years to come. <laughs> and I pray for everyone out there who's going through the same situation that I went through. Pick your head up. I'm letting you know it's a miracle out here for you, as it's a miracle for me.